Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Ellsworth, and I'd like you to take a few minutes here, I suppose it'll probably be like six, seven, eight minutes, um, to uh, make a bookmark resource. So what I'd like you to do is get a sheet of paper. If you've got a piece of printer paper, that's fine. If you don't, um, you can use a regular piece of paper where I want you to fold it in half. Okay, and then on that one half, we're going to put this chart right here. Okay, so pause a moment and get that all your stuff gathered, get it folded, and so that you can be using this for a bookmark. Later on, I'll show you where some, a couple of key things that you want to leave in it. Plus, also you want this resource to go and grab some information off of. So go do that quickly, and I'll and I'll be back here when you're here. Just press play. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and, and start with some of these. So we know some of the values of these because we know that a half is 5 tenths or else 0.5. Okay, we know that one. Whether you put a zero in front of it or not is up to you. Uh, we know also that a quarter is a half of that. So a half of 0.5 is 0.25. Okay, and 3 quarters is 75 cents. You want to look at it that way 0.75 of a dollar okay so those are some that we know off the top of our head now um one third um perhaps many of you know that one third is 0.33333333333 and you know it, it keeps on going but we're going to go ahead and write that instead as um as 0.33 with a line over it okay so let me rewrite that Or you could also do 0.3 with a line over it. That seems to be the new lingo on everything. And the line is just only over the three. That got kind of long there. Okay, now now the neat thing about one-third is if you go and multiply it times two, you're going to get, you know, you always put it over one. Anyways, you're, you're going to get two-thirds. Okay, so I just really have to just multiply this one right here by two. So you get 0.66, okay? or 0.6 with a line just over the 6. Okay, so those are some common ones that you probably already know, but I was just wanting to double check. Okay, so one fifth, maybe you know that one, but I'd like to go and show what that one looks like. Okay, so one divided by fifth, <laughs> one divided by five. Oh, brother. Okay, one divided by five, and that would be. Okay, so 5 does not go into 1, but it does go into um, into 10. Okay, so 5 times 2 equals 10, and that's it. So 1 fifth equals 0 0.2. Now you could also go and look at this another way. If you're somebody like me who really does not like long division, you could go take your 1 fifth, and then you could go and multiply this side times 2, or the bottom by 2, and you get a tenth. Multiply the top by 2. These two must be the same number that you're multiplying them by. And then you're going to get a 2 tenths. 2 tenths. 2 tenths. Okay? Notice that this one right here is a terminating um, decimal. Same with that one. They, they stop. These ones right here are repeaters, and so you have to go and put that notation on them. Okay. The neat thing about, about this is that you can go and see that one fifth, you'd have to double it to get two fifths. So it'd be 0.4. If you take one fifth, you'd have to triple it to get three fifths. So that's going to be 0.6. If you're going to take four fifths, of course you'd take this times four or else double this one. So you get 0.8. It doesn't matter if you write a zero in front of that. You do what you what you'd like to have with those. One six is one that that is um, one divided by six, and so so six goes into one zero times, and then six does go into ten one time, and so then you'll go in one times six is six, and so subtract it, you get a four. Um, bring down another zero, and you know that six times six is 40 and so then that equals 
excuse me, 6 times 6 is 36, and that goes into 40, and then we subtract it, we get 4, and we're going to keep on repeating that thing. Okay, so it's 0.166, put a line over that, or 0.16 with a line just only over the 6 and 6s, okay? I like just memorizing this one. I I think that, that this is a waste of my time to go figure this out every time. And since there's a 1 and a 6, I can seem to remember that one pretty good. 0.16 with a line over it, okay? 1 eighth, okay, well, I know 1 fourth. If I look at 1 fourth of something, okay, is half of that. So one half, okay, and one fourth is 0.25. Okay, what's half of 25? Well, 12 and a half. So it's 0.125. Okay. Okay, so and then the ninths are kind of fun. Let me go and erase this up here. The nights are really a lot of fun. You probably are thinking, like, okay, Ms. Ellsworth, that's because you're a math teacher, but wait till you see this. Okay, so 1 divided by 9, and you, um, it doesn't go into 1, but it does go into 10. It goes into 10 one time, so that's 9, you get a 1. Oh, hey, we're going to have something that's repeating. So it's 0.1111111, so it's always, um, it's always the number that's on top of it, because if I'm going to double this, I'm going to get 0.2. It's a repeater again, um, and 0.4. Notice that we skipped 3 ninths because 3 ninths is really 1 third. Okay, it's really 1 third, so that's the 0.33333, so that would fit in there. Okay, and then this is going to be 0 0.5555555. 6 ninths is really 2 thirds. So, oops. So that one's going to be the 0.6666666. Two thirds is 0.66666. Okay. So 0.7, repeater. 0.8, repeater. Okay. So those ones are pretty nice. You just have to remember that. And we forget that. We forget that. And then we have to go and, um, we have to go and do it on a test. We'll have to go take a piece of paper and do our long division instead of memorizing them. Okay. One tenth. 1 divided by 10 is going to be 0.1. Oopsie, I need a pen. 0.1. And so that's kind of cool. So if you have um, um, 6 tenths, you can go and do the division, or else you can go and multiply this one, or else recognize 6 tenths is 0.6. Okay? That's the nice thing about the tenths. Okay. I did want to go and mention that maybe you want to put something off to the side up here about the eighths. Okay, so 1 eighth it equaled 0.125. If you've got 3 eighths, you go and take this times 3. And it's that nice because this is three, time, 3 of those, so you just go and multiply it by 3. I would rather do multiplication any day, any day over long division. But that's me. I just, I just don't like it. I hate it. Okay, so 3 times 5 is 15. i got to put a 1 up here. This is 6 plus one more. That's a 7. And then 3, so it's 0.375, would be 3 eighths. Okay, do you want to write, write that down somewhere? So you take that times 3 somehow. Do you want to write something about that? Well, that is up to you. But um, it is almost nine minutes, and I want to keep this short and sweet, but it didn't get that way. So um, this is a bookmark that you, I want you to keep in your book so you got this stuff all handy. Okay? Well, I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye now.